Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Union of Numa, a triple crown not for the lowlands. Where we own England and uh, all of Scandinavia indirectly, most of the North America and North South America. Is that a thing? North South America? No, no, that's me uh, creating uh, places. But yeah, uh, we're doing okay. Although uh, France still makes more money than us, Russia still has more troops than us, and they both despise us. Because... Yeah, our, our, our only ally is no longer our ally, which is also nice, I guess. Um, okay, so we did manage to do that. Did that make them like us, like, any more? Defended our territory, plus 10. Okay. Now, let's see if we can't get another thing for... Uh, Annex Vassal. Ooh, that's, that's going to make keep making that even harder, isn't it? More people entering the coalition. Yay, because I've done nothing more. You didn't have a truce with me. Why didn't you just join before? Okay, but let's start working out what the hell was going on here. You are now a complete unit, okay? I'm happy with that. You're a random 14 stack and a random 15 stack. But you have really badly proportioned things. Ideally, I would like to keep the elections reasonably... Again, I, like the numbers are backwards, aren't they, here? The six is the admin. Either way, the middle is for diplomacy. So let's take the Stratist. Because actually, a, you know, a 4 six, 6 is just so much better. But check this, because I, I would think, you know, the way the numbers are ordered, the way they're ordered everywhere else in the game, your admin first, that would be a 4 admin guy, but I believe he's a 4 military guy. What? So that 466 it said there was a 4 Diplo guy? So it, that list was going Diplo first. Is it meant to be random? Is it that you know, they're the three stats you're going to get but you don't know where you're going to get them or something? Because if that's the case, why not just give me a... Like a total number, I guess you're telling me how um, averaged out they are as well, but... Okay, well, it's still, it was still the best... No, it wouldn't have been the best Diplo option. It would have been a five Diplo option. But it's still an okay Diplo option. <laughs> These buildings have like another year to go. You are... <laughs> I, uh, there's another two armies there, basically. You two move up here just so you get out of the way let's take you create a new unit take away eight to, to, to you are like to eight now this is what we're going to try and rebuild first you head down to Boris now we need a cannon a cannon that is no we need nine cannons and 12 infantry okay Build this by hand, because it'll try and build them under where the ships are, which is just stupid. One. Oh, God. So, how many did I just build? I built ten. And I need... Oh, no, I need ten, yeah. No, I'm doing cannons. I only need nine. So, let's cancel you out there and... Now it gets on the drilled infantry where I do need 10. So I need like a 19 in total. Shouldn't be too hard. There we go. I could start building some things there just to speed you up. And you need like an everything. The cannons are what are going to take the longest. So in what little bit of land we have here. Let's build like half the cannons we're gonna need. Why are you like building in 60 days and you, Brunswick is taking you know, so much? Oh, Brunswick isn't one of my previous territories, is it? It's a, I don't even have a recruitment camp. Get that built now. That's just despicable. You should have that built already. At least you're going to finish about the same time as the Arsenal, so I can you know, do that building all at the same time. 
Another siege is over. Good. So you're now marching to the other side of the world. I don't have a guy free now. How's Utrecht looking here? They've lost the siege, but if they would kill the troops first... Finish off the armies before you even consider sieging. You guys have already built, so start heading down here. It's everything apart you know, from Hungary and thingy we leave after. A conquest against France. Okay, so that's our claim. I think we get a claim on Picardy next, although... Oh no, wait, that'll reduce coring costs. The reason we're getting the claims is to reduce coring costs. We already have a reason. We're we'll already getting the no diplo, because if we do go to war with them, we'll you know, declare it as a, a imperial war. But, pick ready. Truce with us ends the 1st of December, 1802. And I really need to be straight back at war with them. I can't let them join the coalition. It just would not be good. Right, by plus 19, are you telling me that's how much you've improved it by? Or is that... No, we've got capped improved relations. I'm just keeping you there so they don't hate me even, 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 even more. Okay. Um, I would love a total of this. You know, the, the... Oh, this is going up monthly. This is going down yearly. Um... <laughs> Like, a total uh, like monthly or yearly gain-loss would be nice. And I'm having to do all this manual troop things because it's not built properly. Yeah, you're all the trade ships, though. No, the boats, please. Still just trade ships. And you guys all should be as well. Don't want to capture the big fleet, though, or the current fleet. If you all head down there, that should be a start. Getting you close to your 50, but, you know, we need something built here, and then the second set is being built there. Okay, do I get anything for unseeding your land? Liberated our provinces. Okay, so we do get a bonus for that, so let's try and come around here and... In fact, split in half. And go there as well. Get as much bonuses with them as we can do because we're gonna need it. Um, I don't know if we'll get the bonus if they started the siege first, but at least we'll get another Liberate our Provinces bonus. And our territory plus 10. So we get like a 20 for doing the siege. But I think aggressive expansion is still like minus 300, so. Yeah, it's not going well. <laughs> Same religion, vassal. Declared war should be gone in like 10 years. Same with was at war. Annex vassal, 20 years. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, we're not in integrating you anytime soon, really, are we? Colony is uh, self-sustaining. Yeah, so don't stay with me then. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, well, that's fine. Where in the world is left to colonize? That's colonial regions. I'm looking for colonial map mode. So there's here, there, but I'm I'm trying to look for stuff which isn't. Uh, Austria could go for that. Let's block off Austria's possible expansion there. And. Oh, the boats have arrived here. Good. Now, if I set them as for allies as well, I'm guessing you guys should be able to use them. I'm providing 40 boats for you guys to take more land. Does it just not work, honestly? Oh, God's sake. I wouldn't mind it not working, but, you know, it's the whole point of this DLC. Um, you know, telling my guys what to do, as far as I'm concerned, doesn't seem to work properly. Um, giving them the orders, you know, they don't do it. I tell them to take this province, they don't. I mean, I could understand, oh, wait, well, it's because they don't like you, or this, that, or the other, but I'm like, God's sake, my vassals who love me don't do what I tell them to. Why 
Just why? It really, I, I, I don't like to be somebody who like says, who will be saying, you know, it's broken, it's bugged, blah, 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 blah. And like, usually it's most likely me effing something up. But I'm not being able to use the stamping building tool because it can't distinguish between, you know, how long it's going to take to build stuff because there's boats being built there. And like, yeah, I want to be able to build boats and men at the same time. It's, you know, sort of like good to have both of them things being built. And I would like to be able to build the boats and not have... But yeah, I can't use that. I can't get my allies. You know, my vassal is an ally. He should be able to request to use my boats. That's what this is for. But no, either he's not considering the ability that, you know, he's not figuring out the AI is not you um, trying to use it or it doesn't work. Which either way, it's not working because if the AI doesn't know how to use it, unless it's you know, meant for a multiplayer situation where I guess that's a possibility, but the whole point was to try and make it work better with. Yeah, we didn't get an extra bonus for that because he was leading the siege. Lose stability or reputation tarnished. Lose Republican tradition. Screw it. We weren't losing as much as what we're supposed to because we didn't have that much to lose. So it almost feels like a victory. <laughs> uh, 48. So we're only waiting for two more ships. Well, you're one of them. And why do I have the feeling there are no more ships in production? Hey? Hey? Didn't I count it out? Uh, if it was the time, you know, yeah, this time it's most likely me counted it wrong. Actually, so you're at 41. Oh, because we built the second one. No, so yeah, I did count it out right. But look, look, that basically... The second ship was being built where the um, transport fleet was, so that's fine. Yeah, I understand that. You should still be shy. No, so what is Brunswick building then? Oh, no, the recruitment camp. I was going to say, I'm like, what the hell are you doing? We've already got all the troops. So we need eight more cannon. And 16 infantry. One, two, three. Four, five. Six, seven, eight. And we do have a manpower just for this. Oh, please say I wasn't building mercs. I'm going to make the assumption that I wasn't. <laughs> I'm going to try and build these make Actually, no, your coastal. In non-coastal -co places. Oh, wait, and I'm building 8 and 16, so 24 in total. Are you kidding me? Um, I believe, uh, Strad, you never actually get the ability to be built, you know, building boats there anyway, because you're not contiguous. And of course, you know, you're not contiguous, so you don't count. I'm surprised we're sort of sitting steady at sort of 10k. I know it's because it's in like k's and it's, you know, it's not going to be there that much. But yeah, don't, don't tax them. I'm happy for them providing the troops, generally. Um, you know, I'd be expecting to make more money. We're, we're only, we're not even making 100. Oh, we're not at war, though, and we are playing full, like, Full on army maintenance. So let's take that down. Trade, we're only making like 200 now. Oh, and it... Okay, so yeah, we probably actually have been making money. It's just I've also been building like a madman, haven't I? I mean, we're not getting manpower recovered. We're building up the army to our force limit. So I've got to expect that we're going to start not making all the monies into the sun. You know, I, I would like all the monies under the sun, but I guess we have to accept sometimes that we can't have all the monies. Never see just fall. Do I have to get a bonus for that? Or are we, is it capped at like 20? I think it's like capped at 25. Merge you guys up. Why are you not... I can understand why you're not reinforcing now, but why weren't you reinforcing before? Go sit it, it in Akashus. Coalition is still... Huge. 
Mexico's in it, which is annoying, but Rio de la Plata isn't. Nor is Cosmopolitan Peru. You're under France, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, 80% liberties is I, so I'd hope you'd go through soon. You're not in the coalition? Oh, we have no diplomat. So I'll, I'll leave it for now. We have no diplomat. We want a few more claws on, claims on France. Is France in the coalition? No. So actually, believe it or not, France might be the best target. Oh no, I don't cancel it. I thought it was finished. Sorry, I looked at the number over there and for some reason I just assumed it was finished. <laughs> A little bit premature, I guess. Um, fabricate a claim, Normandy. I wouldn't mind going for more Champagne region, you know, get some inland stuff, but. Gotta work on our trade node. That'd be basically just adding Calais in as well, I believe. Yeah, that's as far as we'd need to go. And then we'll have all of the continental channel. And all but two provinces on the. I was gonna say uncontinental channel, that's dumb. Um. The English side of a channel. Administrative tech. Navy bonus plus 20. I like having a high number there though. And it's only getting cheaper and I don't really need it. Uh, don't select for large army. The rest can match up there. Gain no large armies. Good match there. That should be the... Um, yeah, that one fully constructed. How are we looking army-wise compared to France? Core not caught. Um, actually, if I'm going to be taking more land against France, and it's going to be France we get to war with before we get to war with England, let's... God, they're expensive, though. Um, and you're allied with Russia. Oh, but you're not in the coalition. Um, you come back. Yeah, I know. Um, it's going up with you maintaining it, but I feel maybe a war of Russia then. Take London. A oh, breaking truce. Yeah. How long do we have the truce till? 1st December 1802. Can I... I don't need to fabricate on London though, do I? Scotland is in the coalition. Ireland is in the coalition. Do I have a free Diplo spot anyway? No, currently at 5 of 5. Bohemia and Sweden need to be improved. Denmark actually could possibly... Start improving. Because we don't have any improved relations at the moment. Oh, we have a plus three. I think that's because we just sent him. So we should be able to get them up to a point where we can start integrating Denmark as well. And once the Hansa is gone, again, that's all contiguous land. So when I start building boats, which um, we need to build boats, of course we do. Naval units, trade fleet. Ghent, Galray, and... Not Akashus, whatever the hell that is. So you're building like 10, you're building like 7. That's good, you'll be, be about the same time. If I can get them joined up, so like all of, you know, from from Calais to uh, to Finnmark can be building the ships in one contiguous unit, it'd be a hell of a lot better. In the meantime, I'll let the manpower regen while we build my boats. I like the boats, boats, boats. Denmark's improving, the claims are getting fabricated on France. How long do claims last? I forget. Um, 1818. So I think like two years until the end of the game. 
Oh, and uh, this trade fleet isn't doing anything. So let's protect trade. So now let's first have a look at the trade map mode. Really, there's eight. Oh, that's our current power. Okay. What I want to be looking at is the trade value in the node. There's 90 odd there. 25. I'm guessing over here the nodes are going to be worth a lot more. 30. 10. Really? Only 10? Is that my value in the node? No, that is current trade value. 30. 1.2. Brazil's quite good, but it, you know, it's blowing the wrong way. <laughs> um, I think yeah, Lubeck is still the the best bet and we currently have the first fleet of 24 ships really 24 ships why do I have a fleet of 24 ships a Lubeck So my current trade power. Send you off to Lubeck. There we go. And how much difference is that going to make once it arrives? I think we have to wait for the end of a month. Military leader has died. Milan is no longer considered a rally rival of Venice. You should tick and you should change. Really? You only gave me like 10% more? But again, the Hansa is taking 22, Denmark is 9. So we really sort of have... Oh, and Sweden has a 1%, but it's really sort of that as our chart. But... I wouldn't mind it moving more. And what are you doing? You're a heavy fleet who's one ship short of a heavy fleet. And you come to Lincoln then, because I think I can build ships in Lincoln. God, that was loud. I hope it's not as loud for you guys. Um, let's just see. Maybe Yorkshire's going to be quicker to build a ship. Um, it's a free decker I want to be looking for. No, it'll be building it in Lincoln. Okay. Uh, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, that is all the time we have for today. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye.